So I have a grand total of three girls that watch my channel, guys. All other YouTubers need to catch up. You guys are still sitting at zero. I'm sitting at three girls over here. <laughs> It's just amazing. We have so much stuff to open. I am so excited to get to open all this. It's just, thank you all so much. Like, I, I'm always left speechless, like, every single Monday. Just, just uh, you know, every time I go to the post office, I'm just amazed by, like, you know, just how much cool stuff you send me. Like, you know, and, like, and, and all of your doodles and just, and just everything. Like, without even opening this, like, I'm, I'm already super, super excited. Um, I seriously used to hate Mondays, but, like, I, like over, over the course of the series and stuff, like, this has become my favorite series. And it, it's just become so fun. Like it's just it's so fun to do. I love I love reading you guys' letters and just and just everything about the series. And it, it's just so much fun. Thank you all. I just want to thank all of you guys. I know you guys probably get tired of hearing me say thank you all the time, but I just I just feel the need to just get it through to you guys. Just how much I appreciate this and just how much I appreciate um, everything you do for me. You know, on just watching my videos and, and sending mail and just and everything you do. Thank you all just so 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 much. I I am forever in your debt. I really am. But for the normal spiel, if you want to send me your fan mail, the P.O. Box is 1391 Owasso, Oklahoma 74055. And if you want me to sign cards and send them back to you, be sure to stamp and address an envelope in with your cards or a package if you send like a lot of cards. Just be sure to send, you know, proper packaging in with your cards so I have something to send them back in. That's that's all I need, guys. Um, and with all that being said, um, let's go ahead and get to opening this. This is just... Whew, this is gonna be really really fun. So let's start this off with one from Dallas Potter So I have the return letter very very nice return envelope and I think that is all out of that very cool All right, let's see what this says Gosh, this is written in marker <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, so uh, Dear okay, here we go. Dear Yugi. No, no. I love your vids so much I've had Yu-Gi-Oh cards for a while now, but never really played but I started but watching you Oh, dude, that's awesome. I don't I don't use a mail much, but I, I love love it if you could please Sign my Egyptian God cards three just three uh, just uh, eye candy But they uh, will, will be so much better to look at with my hero's name on them. Oh, dude, that's awesome uh, I will absolutely sign them for you PS love a moth then Exodia <laughs> <laughs> greater than let me not greater than Exodia. Oh my gosh, that's freaking awesome, dude! Thank you so much for writing. That's amazing. What's the what, what is this? Hold on, what, hold on, hold on. Let me open this up. What what is this? That did the trick. Okay, so what what is this? Okay, so there's like a, a note in here. I made this card for you. Sorry, I need. Uh, uh, sorry, I hold on. I made this card for you. Sorry, I'm new to uh, drawing. Hope you like it. I I tried to copy the larvae moth artwork. <laughs> oh my gosh, larvae moth uh, background. Uh, pretty good for my first uh, fan art drawing. I'd say the attack and defense and card description are um, entirely correct. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's see. <laughs> So it's like me and like Larvae Moth and like this this taped together card. This is freaking awesome. That infinity times two, infinity times two. That's my attack and defense. Oh my gosh. So apparently, apparently when I'm combined with Larvae Moth, my my attack and defense power is not only infinity but infinity times itself. So that just just beware. You don't you don't ever want to cross me, okay? Just don't cross me. It's not it's not wise. <laughs> but uh, let's see let's see these god cards. I mean I want to see Obelisk Raw Slifer. All right, there we go. There we go. Obelisk, Raw, Slifer, the Egyptian gods. Dude, I will sign these on camera for you. Thank you so much for writing. Uh, I freaking love it when you guys send me all this, you know, really cool fan-made stuff. I just I just love it so much. And, uh, and thank you for, like, sending god cards. I Like, god cards are probably some of my favorite things to sign. Uh, up there with, like, cyber dragons, of course. Of course I like signing cyber dragons. But, um, dude, thank you so much for sending these. I will be sure to get these right back to you. Thank you so much. All right, so this next one is, like, an envelope in a package. So the envelope's, like, down on this side, so I can just, like, cut, cut this open. It's not a big deal. There's nothing on this side of it. Open from this flap. Be be careful, it says. So I will be very, very careful, and we will open this with precision then. And I think that is all that. That was precision, if I do say so myself. Ooh, a blue eyes white dragon, a couple blue eyes. Turn those face down. Don't want to ruin the surprise. All right, so here is the return envelope. Very, very nice. And then let's see what this says. 
All right, dear Yugi Noto, sometimes, sometimes, maybe, maybe, never, never, you get the point. You get the point. <laughs> I've been a fan of yours for quite a while now, and I've enjoyed a lot of your content. Keep up the good work. I will. If you guys keep watching, I will keep making videos. I promise you that. Um, I messaged you on Facebook about the fake blue eyes. Yes, which is cool, by the way. Uh, anyhow, I have some uh, cards for you to sign. If you uh, aren't haven't figured out uh, what it is, then I'll send uh, send the fan mail Monday chance to dick slap the... <laughs> Dick slap the what? Dick slap the something out of you. <laughs> what? LOL. Just, just kidding. Uh, keep making amazing vids and making me laugh on a regular basis. Uh, sincerely, Dale. Dude, thank you so much for writing. Let's see. Uh, so we have, yes, Blue Eyes White Dragon. So did you send a play set of them? Dude, freaking sweet. Absolutely. I will sign these and get them right back to you. Thank you so much for writing. Let's open this one next. I want to open up uh, the Millennium Eye next. That's what I want to open. This one is from... Troy Strange. Oh, this guy's written before. Let's see what he has to say this time. All right, so we have the return envelope and some cards. Let's see what this says. Dear Yugi Nono, -No, greeting us again from California. I've sent some uh, more of my uh, Monarch and Cyber Dragon decks to sign. Thanks again for taking the time and go out of your way to sign my cards. Dude, it's no problem at all. I forgot to tell you in my last letter that I thought your your 90s music parody videos are amazing. <laughs> Dude, uh, there's some, well, yeah, what's sad is that I actually have a whole song uh, mixed together. It's uh, You know, I'll, ju I'll just spoil it. It's going to be uh, a Mr. Brightside parody, uh, you know, by the Killers. And uh, I'll just spoil it right now. Like, wait, the song, the track is done. I mean, this, the song is done. Um, I just haven't had the time to, uh, to go actually go and make the music video, but as far as, like, the track being mixed and sounding good and all that stuff, I already have that taken care of, so be on the lookout for that one. I'm, I'm glad you guys like the music videos. They're really fun to make. They really are. Uh, they're kind of they're, they're kind of a pain to edit, but they're fun to film, let's put it that way. Um, but I, I'd like to, I'd really like to see more videos like that from you. Yeah, yeah, like I said, like, you know, to-do list, you, you guys already know. Like, insert to-do list excuse here, you know. <laughs> but they, they are legendary. Also, I was wondering uh, how I could uh, get one of your uh, Stay Salty play mats. Oh, oh, uh, so uh, the Stay Salty ones, um, there's there's several ways to go about it. Um, um, well, there's, actually, there's really only one way to go about it. You go to metamats.com. <laughs> like, that's, that, that's, yeah, that's how you get it done. Uh, um, so, um, like, the Stay Salty ones, uh, uh, yeah, Dave, like, so are you talking about the one where I'm Salt Bay, like, throwing the cards? Because there's that one, and <laughs> there's, and then there's, like, the, you know, the Yugi Salt Bay, like, throwing, throwing cards. Um, either way, uh, metamats.com, um, and, uh, enter in, uh, the code, uh, Eugene versus Jesus, and you'll get, uh, 10% off, not not even playing. I don't have a playmat yet, but I really want one of yours. If you could let me know, I'd really appreciate it. To finish my letter, I, w I wanted to ask you what your uh, top five favorite decks are. Uh, thanks for everything, and keep up the great content. Your friend, Troy Strange. Thank you so much for writing. Um, so, um, my top five favorite decks of all time. I mean, obviously Cyber Dragons, uh, Evil Swarms are up there. Uh, believe it or not, Necros. Necros are somewhere, they're somewhere in my top ten. I don't know if they're in my top five, but they're somewhere in my top ten. And then I really like Monarchs. You guys know me and Monarchs. And then I really like, I actually really like Scythe Brains. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really sat down and thought about, um, you know, what my top five favorite decks are, like, of all time, really. Um, you know, maybe that's something I could do. I could sit down and, and uh, you know, make a video about um, my favorite decks. That's actually, I don't think I've made that video. <laughs> if I have, it's been, like, a really, really long time. So, uh, yeah, I, I'll, I guess I'll just make that a video. We'll add that to the list. And uh, you guys will, yeah, I mean, besides what I just named, um, you know, I've really liked I, I have I have an attachment to zombies from back in the day, but I wouldn't put them in my top five. I think I want to make like a top ten. I'll sit down and think about my favorite decks, and I'll make like a top ten favorite Yu-Gi-Oh decks video or something like that. But dude, uh, let's see what you sent the sign. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. My monarch stuff. And speaking of monarchs, if you guys did not know, um, I got most of my uh, you know uh, regional like top 32s, top 16s, you know, etc. Um, I got most of those back in the day with by playing monarchs when monarchs were at full power. Uh, you know, with the uh, three storm fourth, you know, all that stuff. Uh, three uh, pantheism and uh, the. the deck is it's probably it's it's like my favorite competitive era of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like my favorite meta uh, format right there is uh, is Monarch format. Like after uh, Pendulums got hit, but we're still relevant. We had um, you know the format was Monarch Cosmo. Uh, Burning Abyss, like, you know, PK Fire is what it was, and then um, uh, Pendulums, and that, that, that was a four-deck format, really, and it was, like, a really, really, really great format. But, um, anyways, though, uh, thank you so much for writing again. I'll be sure to get these signed and sent right back to you. Thank you so much. This next one is from a Jonathan Young. I think this guy's written before, too, but then again, you guys know me in, uh, in names and stuff. I'm, like, really, really bad with names, so who knows? But, um, let's see. Uh, then, well, Jonathan Young, that uh, sounds, like, really familiar, though. Oh, no! We have more cards that 
gotta sit back. Oh no! See guys, this is exactly why I have you write your own return envelopes in with your cards so that when I send the cards back, they get to you, you know what I mean? Because you wrote your own address down. Um, even, even with someone else's handwriting, this isn't even my handwriting, okay? I had someone else write the address down because my handwriting is terrible and I know it's not going to get there, which is why I don't write down addresses, okay? So, um, um, so I knew it wasn't going to get there with my handwriting, so I had, uh, you know, they wrote their, um, their address on the back of their letter and I had someone, you know, the right, like, copy it down for me so I could send it back and the cards came back to me. So if these cards are yours, um, I'm not going to give um, Jonathan Young. Jonathan Young, um, I need you to contact me, uh, send me a message on Facebook with your address so that um, I can get these cards, uh, you know, back to you. Um, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. Just, uh, guys, please, in the future, please, 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 you know, when you send me cards to sign, just, you know, address your own envelope, stamp your own envelope so that I know with full confidence when I send it back, it actually gets back to you. But since that last one was literally a dud, <laughs> let's open up a package next. This one is, uh, Dan this one's from Danielle. Danielle, f this is from a girl? So there's there's three girls that watch my channel now? A grand total of three. That's that's actually incredible. Let's get this open though, all jokes aside. Um, so uh, so we have that. So I, I, I'm guessing that is, yeah, so that is a return envelope. Uh, we have a letter. Uh, this feels like it's got cards in it. Oh, both these. So I think this has got cards in it too. And that is everything out of that. So wait, wait, is, is this cards? This might not be cards. These feel like cards. Anyways though, let's see what this says. Uh, dear Yugi Nono, I have several requests. Oh gosh, okay. First, uh, press that girl alert. I knew it! Girl alert button. Oh gosh, okay. So I have a grand total of three girls that watch my channel, guys. All other Yugi tubers need to catch up. You guys are still sitting at zero. I'm sitting at three girls over here. <laughs> All right, anyways. So <laughs> he, uh, she goes, uh, hit that girl alert button because that's exactly what I am. I know you don't often get fan mail from the opposite gender. It's, 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 look, it's, it's Yu Gi Oh! It's, it's dorky. Usually girls don't play this game, okay? <laughs> but uh, secondly, I admit I am not I'm actually a Yu Gi Oh! player, but I was. Uh, taught by my boyfriend should the should the need to duel come up but hey i still have a lot of fun seeing him uh squeal like a girl watching your, <laughs> watching your videos by the way congrats you seem to be the only yugi tuber i really enjoy watching here and here and there especially since i am a bit um a bit um attention oh so add oh ooh, look shiny thing <laughs> Uh, so, um, un undoubtedly, you're already uh, pulled out uh, two rats things from your package, and you may not uh, may um, may now open your first one. It was a commission by my boyfriend for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, it, it's meant to be a divider for your cards. Oh, dude. Uh, there is an empty uh, top loader in between, and I, I do not recommend taking out the stitching. Okay. For those of you who do not who don't know, this is an art style called uh, cross stitching, and I've used it to create all sorts of things. I make um, custom patterns, plushes, pins, patches, uh, pendants, and keychains. Mostly, as of late, Pokemon and um, under. Uh, uh, I don't know. Under Undertake, Undertale. I, I don't. I don't know what that is. I've never. I've never heard of that. But but as you can see, what I make is um, limited by uh, essentially pixels, uh, commissions. Uh, so so she wants me to actually open. Okay. So here, let me open this so you can see what she's describing here. Let me let me be careful. What is this? Whoa! exactly what she's talking about now that is way sick cyber dragons so tune cyber dragon and cyber dragon that is way cool wow that is way awesome okay okay i see what she's talking about being limited to pixels because of the the way the fabric is and stuff that's awesome that's that's way way cool commissions have been mostly by word of mouth but if anyone including you is interested you can contact uh, uh, you can chat me up on my tumblr um, free promotion, yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. Um, uh, Cyan Soul, Cyan Soul is stitching. Uh, it's is uh, Cyan Soul's stitching dump. I think that's what it says, but I'm I'm trying. Cyan Soul's stitching, and it looks like D U M P 
pee that looks like uh, it looks like a pee to me. Cyan Souls Stitching Dump. That's what I'm gonna call it. That's that's what it looks like to me. What that says. So remember that 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 last package. Oh yeah, open that one now. Okay, so let's open this one now. Okay, so she actually wanted me like on the point to follow instructions. Okay, that was my fault. Okay, this is this is what happens when you when you send a send a man to do a woman's job, right? But but hey, a freaking pack. What? Let's say read letter first, open second when prompted. Yep, yep, of course. So um, let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. So it's an unopened. Yeah, this is an unopened Code of the Duels pack. What? Cards, she goes, cards, obviously. I have a special request request for them, actually. So Todd R., my, my boyfriend, knows nothing, but these cards are essentially for him. Um, he's that guy who sent you so many fake card boxes. Oh, hey! Open open them up for the world to to see. Uh, sign them and send and send them to him. That's the that's the return envelope. Gotcha. Um, so it's from uh, from Danny B. Um, Cyan Soul. Uh, P.S. Todd also said something about playing heads tails with your divider. Uh, playing uh, playing heads. Oh, so yeah, you can you can play like heads or tails with it. Yeah, you could do that. So like you can flip it like a coin or whatever because you know heads or tails. You just call heads or tails. Uh, P.P.S. Um, uh, so I can't exactly dick slap the like button. But I can tit tap it. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you so much for writing. That is awesome. That is way sick. Uh, thank you so much for making me this. This is also really, really awesome. Like, oh my gosh. This is so cool. I've never had anybody make me something like this. Like, this is this is amazing. I mean, I've had people make me boxes, you know, and all kinds of stuff, mats, but no, no one's ever, like, you know, knitted me anything. <laughs> like, that is so awesome. And, uh, yeah, let's open uh, let's open up this pack on camera, and um, I will definitely sign all of them and send them your way. So let's see this. A DD Vice Typhon, emergency, uh, emerging emergency rescue to rescue, that one. Uh, say that 10 times fast. Destiny Hero, dangerous, heavy, Storm Duster, hey, that's a good card. That's really cool. And then a Rex, uh, Gravity Lash, a uh, uh, Predator Plant, a uh, Bank, a uh, Bank of Score, whatever that is, a uh, Bank Ogre. I don't remember how to pronounce that. Supreme Rage, and then a Beckoned by the World Chalice. Very, very cool. Um, Danielle, I will definitely sign all of these and send them back your way. Thank you so much for writing. All right, so this next one is from a Jacob Schweinsberg. Jacob Schweinsberg. So let's open this up and see what he has to say. So we have a letter, some cards, lots of cards. Uh, lots, lots. Of, oh wow! So return is that the return envelope? Looks like the return envelope. That's everything out of that. And yes, that is the return envelope. And then let's see what this says. Oh sweet, it's tight. Awesome. So, uh, so funny story about how I found your channel. I only started. Is that the front side? Oh, so he starts off that way. Okay. So funny story about how I found your channel. I only started playing again this last year. Last time I uh, played synchros were uh, were were new. If that gives you an idea. Actually, that's when I kind of got back into it. I think, or maybe Xs were new. No, Xs were new. I think. I can't remember. So I got into watching uh, deck builds and pack openings. I was watching Team Samurai X1, and Sam every once in a blue moon would say Yugi No No, and I'm like, what's a Yugi No No? <laughs> I, think, I freaking love that guy. I love Sam. He's cool. Uh, I'm thinking it's it's like something a, a Yu-Gi-Oh player does just doesn't do or something like it's like some cult thing. Uh, so I keep uh, keep looking at some uh, some of my search uh, uh, fu was uh, search foo wasn't very good because I. Could couldn't find anything. Then one day Sam said it again, and this time I could understand him uh, enough to realize it's a YouTube channel. Ever since yours, uh, yours is my favorite. The packs are labeled. Uh, please do whatever you want with the card that say, that say keep. If you want to give them away, that's cool. It's pretty obvious uh, what my uh, favorite deck is when you look at the signed pack. Lastly, I have a few questions. Uh, do you play in any esport games? And if so, what, what what ones? I actually don't know what esports is. I've heard that name. I actually have no idea. So esports is that like video games or something like that like I seriously uh, don't really play video games uh, I like outside of Yu-Gi-Oh I spend all my time like working on my house and hanging out with my girlfriend like I'm pretty boring guys I'm actually really really boring outside of Yu-Gi-Oh but um so uh, a favorite superhero uh uh, does does Vegeta count? <laughs> does the Prince of All Saiyans count? Because um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the Prince of All Saiyans, Vegeta himself. Uh, so uh, the question number three: Have you have you seen a Big Trouble in Little China? You know what? That's I love Kurt Russell as an actor. Believe it or not, uh, like he's he's been in like so many movies that I liked when I was a kid. Um, but like uh, I have that's one I haven't seen. Believe it or not, uh, that's I saw it on Netflix. I think I put it on my list or something like that. I think it was on Netflix. But um, yeah, I haven't I haven't seen it. I really haven't. But it's, it's 
one that's one on my uh, on my list to watch. It really is. Uh, P.S. Sorry I couldn't send you any moths or beans. It's really hard to get a hold of that meta stuff. It's just way too powerful, and no one wants to trade for them. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for for uh, for writing and watching and and just everything. Thank you so much. So this these say keep. Okay, so let's see which ones he wants me to sign first. I want to see what I have to sign first. All right. So we have. So yep, sign. Oh, hey, double evolution pill. So he plays dinos. Very cool. So double evolution pill, Tyranno Infinity. Oh, there's actually multiple cards in each of these. I'm selling them short. I'm selling them short here. So uh, double evolution pill, Miscalladiosaurus, Tyranno Infinity, Terraforming. Okay. Then the uh, Megalo, uh, let me, uh, Megalo Smasher X, another Terraforming, and a Gofu. Oh, no, he sent it. And Gofu got banned now. Oh, man. Oh, that's crazy. I'm really sorry. Like, I know, I know. I'm in, I'm in the same boat because I'm just, like, sitting here looking at my, um, you know, my uh, my monarchs and, you know, my cyber dragons and stuff. Like, what do I replace Gofu with? You know what I mean? Like, I'm in the same boat. I, I, I really am. I feel your pain. <laughs> like, I feel your pain. I really do. And, yeah, I will absolutely sign those. And, ooh, this is falling apart. Um, so, let's see what, what he sent. What? Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, dude. Dragonic Diagram? You're a madman. Thank you. That is that is insane. Battle Mania. Hey, I haven't seen that card in a minute. Um, Assault Blackwing, uh, Chidori the Rain Sprinkling. I've seen that one. Uh, Forge of the True Dracos. Whoa, an Ultra. DDD Super Doom King of Bright Armageddon. Woo, uh, Exoton Knight, a uh, Miracle Contact, a uh, Lunar Light Cat Dancer, Underworld Fighter, uh, uh, actually, I don't think I own this one. Maybe I do. Uh, Underworld Fighter, uh, uh, Balmung, um, Doom Donuts, Lady of D, uh, Gym Knight, and Lapis, Cyber Dragon. Hey, a couple of Cyber Dragons. Very, very cool. Thank you so much. Actually, is this one, this one feels really, really weird. Like it's been, whoa, that one feels like it's been laminated or something, but, but it's not. It's just like really Damn it! Whoa, that's that's weird. Uh, I, I wish you guys could feel it because it, it actually this card feels really weird, like different from the rest of them. But um, anyways, thank you so much for the cards. I will be sure to sign these and get them right back to you. Thank you so so much. All right, this next one's from William Moytowski. Oh, I know this guy. Let's see what he has to say. So we have a letter and some cards. All right, so dear Yugi, no means no means yes. <laughs> what? It closed within the letter are six cards. I want you to keep for your collection. Thank you. Uh, the first four in the top letter marked. One are from Yu-Gi-Oh! Day 2017. I know that they are not foil, but since they are promos, I thought you probably might like them for your Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Kaiba format. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I can't wait to see those. That'd be awesome. Uh, so please do enjoy them and, and maybe make some uh, Yu-Gi Kaiba duels with Sam. Uh, so yeah, like I said uh, last week, Sam's actually on tour. I don't know when I'm gonna see him again, but uh, yeah, like um, you know, for the like the old school Sunday thing, I still plan on doing the old school Sunday. The reason why yesterday's video wasn't an old school video is because you guys all know I was very, very sick and I needed to play kind of, you know, catch up. So I used uh, Sunday when I felt better to kind of, you know, make another video and play catch up for me being sick and stuff. But um, anyways, uh, so this week though, I'm obviously better. Everything's going to be back to normal. I'm going to be coming back with a vengeance, guys. I really am. It's, everything's right back on track. Everything's normal. So um, hopefully um, I'll have an old school video for this Sunday. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, um, but it, it'll be, it'll be an old school video. And then, um, yeah, with then uh, with Sam, I I just don't I don't know when I'm gonna be able to do duels with him. I I, I actually uh, I think he's coming back in like April or March. I can't remember what he told me, but he's coming back. I mean, he's obviously coming back eventually. I just don't know when. So yeah, like uh, definitely when he's back, we will definitely uh, you know do some more duels and stuff like that. The fifth card is Larve Mott's lesser god brother. May he forever gather dust in the meme binder. <laughs> right, definitely the final cards I had to uh, call upon. Most of my powers to create such memes. I think you know what, what to do with them. Yours truly, William. P.S. Uh, yo, hook me up with that. Smexy Spirit of the Warrior. <laughs> Spirit of the Warriors, Matt. Spirit. Oh, yo, the, the Meta Matt Spirit of the Warrior, Matt. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so, um, uh, can I give that one away? Yeah, I actually, I'm actually going to be giving away. Um, I, I have currently, I have one. I have. Two. I have at least two mats to give away meta mats this week or ne between this week and next week and stuff So yeah, uh, definitely be on the lookout. I will be giving away two mats very 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 soon So uh, not to spoil anything even though this I guess I have spoiled a lot in this one <laughs> I'm usually really good about not spoiling things But but I think that you guys you know since you guys you know watch all these and these videos are really really long I think I think you guys are in some spoilers and stuff here and there You know what, what's going on in the channel and all that but uh, summon skull petite bot this one Yes, this is what I was waiting for from will this is amazing. All right, so 
it's 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 me. It's me, obviously. It's like Bidoof, right? From Pokemon. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Bidoof Jesus. And then bang heads for your Lord and Savior. <laughs> This dude's freaking hilarious. He sent me a picture of this on Facebook like a little while ago. I'm like, dude, yes. And uh, this is freaking awesome. And then Petite Moth, yes. Petite Moth going in the meme binder. And then Summit Skull Lodge. And dude, very, very cool. Yeah, dude. These are sick. Thank you so much. Dude, Dim too. That is crazy. Thank you so, so, so much, dude. This is this is actually really, really, really sick. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much for the gifts. Thank you so much for writing all that stuff. You, you're, you're freaking awesome. And I was actually just taking these out to put them in the in their respective binders. And there's actually two of these. And then it's it's bang, it's uh, it's bit off Yugi, bit off yes, yes. And then bang heads for cyber dragons. That's way sick. And then petite moths. So um, before I got distracted by that, <laughs> by the there being two of them um, I was let's go ahead and put them in uh, their binders so the petite moth is going to go in this binder full of petite moths and uh, I think, uh, yeah 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 so we are yeah let's put the extra larvae moths from larvae moth binder in this one and we are right here so that's where this one goes will this go in there there we go and then um, we have one second there we are. So we have this binder, the Island of Misfit binder. And we're gonna go ahead and put these in here. I think these will fit in here, won't they? Because aren't these meant for like all sizes? Yeah, that's what I thought. They're meant for like all sizes of cards. Dude, very, very sweet. So the Island of Misfit binder coming coming along very, very nicely with all the randomness, and like all of its randomness and glory. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like this thing, this thing is like, uh, it's it's the most random thing like I have. And it's, it's actually kind of cool. Uh, and Chris Mushka, our fan mail champ, actually sent this. And uh, speaking of fan mail champ, the guy that made up the fan mail Monday um, champion title, he literally made it up because he was our fan mail Monday champion. We have Anthony Cantos. So let's see what he has to say today. Hey, Yugi, no, no, does Bushka know the way? <laughs> does that mean not dead yet? God. Dear Yugi Homo, oh, come on now. Come on now. I hope you're feeling much better today. I do feel much better. My, my throat is still, actually, believe it or not, still a little sore. Um, I, can, I, I can obviously speak now but this is the worst case of strep throat i've ever had like for real like my, my like you know like your your, your uh, uvula like your punching bag in the back of your throat like it was like three different colors for me it's the worst strep throat i've ever had it's, it's it was nuts uh, i'm still on antibiotics it's crazy i hope you're feeling much better today because it's not fun to be sick it is not you are correct it, as crazy as it sounds it it takes me about 30 minutes to write each letter i i, I sent to you i believe it no you have to handwrite everything i believe it and like if, if you're anything like me you, you take forever to write anything so <laughs> I really I really like to sit down and truly think about uh, what I want to ask you this week but uh, if I'm uh, being honest it's the stuff that comes before the questions that take the most time but it's worth it I, I it's worth it to make you smile smile hashtag no homo but at the end of the but at the end of the day I'm just um, I'm just your average dude I sit down and casually dick slap my phone like, <laughs> like everyone else <laughs> anyways if this letter was it was an anime every every part until now was filler so let's get let's get back to let's get back to canon <laughs> Dude, that was that was really well worded I, I butchered it but that was really well worded uh, the, the, uh, question number one uh, are you a big uh, are you a big Mac man or a uh, big Mac man or a whopper man uh, I don't know like I guess I guess big Mac I don't know I, I don't I actually really don't eat a McDonald's I don't eat fast food very often um, uh, so question number two as as soon as you're done a recording go um go go to a go to taco bell they started uh serve they started serving fries i just realized that wasn't a question oops <laughs> did, did they start serving fries what so uh question uh, number three do you feel bad for ddds yeah kind of honestly because i thought that they looked really cool and they're dark and i like allure of darkness as a card and i actually wanted to pick up the deck but there was something telling me that i shouldn't pick up that deck and buy those structure decks and sure enough i'm glad that i didn't so um, I, I, I don't know man i, I do feel bad for him because uh, they, uh, I mean, they, they they were only like really good for what two weeks? Like that's really sad. Um, anyway, so question number four: uh, What were your thoughts on uh, last OCG import being scrambled egg? See, like I don't. I thought that the Hey True Nade thing was more trolly. Like everyone's freaking out about like needle fiber being replaced with scrambled egg, and I'm just like. 
but do you really want needle fiber? Like, do you guys really want needle fiber that bad? That card's degenerate as hell. And like, you know, and everyone's like making these jokes, and I'm like, no, that card is is really, I don't know, that card leads to really, really stupid things in, in a lot of decks. And I mean, it, it does like fix the, you know, it does fix synchros a little bit and stuff. I don't, I don't know. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about scrambled egg forever. But like, I think that it, I think I thought that that I what I thought was funnier was the hey trunade thing, which is why I made the hey trunade thing instead of the scrambled egg thing. Because I seriously, my, in my personal opinion, um, I thought that them naming hate like you know the new trunade card hey trunade was really really stupid. So like I thought that that was way funnier as a joke because uh, it's a super powerful card with a really dumb name. So I thought that that was a better joke than the scramble egg thing. But I I don't know. I, it, it's to each their own. To each their own. Anyways, here's some cards to keep. I'll see you later. Sign Anthony Canto said Jerry Beans. Oh, Jerry Beans, man. But dude, thank you so much. You're you're, you're a freaking madman. Like you write every week and you're you're amazing. I I love getting your questions and stuff like, like keep I, I love answering them like keep keep writing me I'll keep answering questions dude I like I actually like to I like when people ask me questions because I feel like I get to you know answer honestly so you guys can actually get to know me I just think it's really cool to get questions because it's like this kind of behind the scenes thing you know uh, in my opinion I think you guys like that and I always really liked that you know I always really liked that I was one of those people that always liked watching bonus features on DVDs and stuff so um, but anyways um, yeah the, you, you guys get what I mean but uh, Bujinki um, uh, but Terasu, uh, what, I don't, I, I've never known how to pronounce this guy, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> but, dude, thank you so much for the cards. Uh, Master, Master Hero Divine Wind, Stardust Flash, wow. Uh, uh, Constellar Siat, oh, what, what is this? Endoria Doom, the Cubic Emperor. Oh, Cubics, yeah, Cubic Emperor. Majesty with eyes of blue, blue eyes, white dragon, in all of his glory. Dude, thank you so, so much. Um, thank you so much for your cards. Thank you so much for writing every week. Dude, you're, you're just, you're, you're the king, dude. You're, you're amazing. And next up, of course, we have Chris Bushka, our current Fan Mail Monday champion. Let's see what he has to say this week. So he sent, uh, that's everything out of that. And we have the return envelope, cards. Oh my gosh, a lot of cards. So here we go. Hey, hey, no, no, uh, funny, 13018. Uh, that wasn't too long ago, good. All right, hey, no, no, I thought this, this said like 1130, like for, for some reason, like for a second, I was like, man, this, this took forever. But, but, but it wasn't that, okay. So hey, no. No, no, funny story. Uh, someday, uh, from so, some somebody from last week's Fan Mail Monday sold cards to me on TCG Player and recognized my name. He was oh, that's really cool. He was the one with the awesome tournament story. That's awesome. Yeah, it was the guy that had his uh, that had his stuff stolen. Um, in the in the spirit of Anthony Cantos, I have a question for you. Oh my gosh, what was the coolest of of someone wrecking? What what was the coolest of someone recognizing you uh, besides Pegasus seeing you sign cards for others? Oh man, oh, that was that was literally the that's the, that's the first thing that comes to mind. That's not fair. Okay, <laughs> but uh, the coolest time I got recognized. Um, so uh, you know what? It actually wasn't even Pegasus. The coolest time I got recognized was immediately after I got recognized, and it was all it was all the kids. It was it was after I got recognized by him, uh, and then the, what's her name? This the Konami CEO lady. I always forget her name. I think it's Julie something, but I don't know. Uh, but. Uh, it was it was after it was it was when you know because he was signing cards by the uh, the dragon duels and it was all the kids and the parents and, and everything that recognized me and then talking to the parents and all that stuff that was the coolest moment of being recognized in public you know for Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff although uh, one one really cool time was I, I randomly ran into I was get, I was picking up Taco Bueno like I was picking up Taco Bueno with my girlfriend and the guy in the drive-through recognized me because he played Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> So there was that, but uh, that, that was kind of cool. But it was it was the kids. But uh, this it's just uh, this always the kids. Uh, anyways, uh, new cards are here. Uh, uh, anyways, new cards are here, and if you could sign the paper copies and send them back, that would be great. Uh, sign Chris Bushka, absolutely, dude. And uh, that was a really good question actually, because uh, I, I, uh, I actually get recognized not to toot my own horn, but I get recognized a lot, and it's it's actually just I'm really not trying to toot my own horn here. I'm just gonna say that it's it's just freaking awesome. Awesome. Like being in the position that I'm in, it, like somehow making it to the position that I'm in, it, it's it's pretty cool. It's it's really really cool. But let's see what you sent. So he said, okay, here we go. So he said, in the arms of Yuki Jesus, he sent his custom cards. Oh my gosh. So in the arms of Yuki Jesus, special summon up two three Lord Raymonds from anywhere in your possession. You are taken care of, my child. <laughs> oh my god, that's freaking broken. Yugi bro bro, have your opponent be a bro bro and search your deck for two cards and place them in your hand. Ha! That's broken. These are all broken. 
Hey, and you used, oh man, um, I, oh shoot, I just remembered I need to email him for the digital copy of that. Um, a fan um, wrote me and he, uh, he printed off um, what he drew, um, this right here, this fan art that he drew of me, and um, he sent me his email address so I could get, so I could get um, the, the digital copy of it. And I just remembered that I need to message him, I need to email him so I can get the digital copy. I need to remember to do that. But dude, thank you so, so much. I will sign these and send them back to you. Um, this is this is just amazing. Thank you so much. You are truly our Fan Mail Monday champion, and I hope that you reign for a very long time. All right, you guys, we are down to our last thing for the day, this box. So I'm going to get this open. We will see what is in here. I actually have no idea what this is as per usual. Uh, usually, you know, I have no idea what people send me. They just kind of send me whatever. But uh, this is, uh, man, I'm, I'm having a terrible time getting this open, but hold on. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so this is from, oh, by the way, this is from, who is this from? Daniel Fur. So this is from Daniel Fur. Let's see what Daniel sent me. Oh my, oh, whoa. Whoa, okay. So, whoa. Okay, so starter deck, structure deck mats. Whoa, I think, I think, what, dude? I, whoa. Lots of, this is just, I, okay. <laughs> All right, let's get this address out of here. This is a return envelope. Oh, okay. Um, I am, I am overwhelmed right now. Okay, so we have a whole deck box. Um, we have what is all this? Okay, so some cards, uh, lots, lots of cards. Let's put those over here. Some, some packaging stuff. Throw, the, throw those away. And then this right here. So um, I guess this is the letter. Yeah, read me. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what, what my instructions are here. What is all this? Hey, Yuki, no, no, yes, yes, maybe, maybe, undecided, undecided, <laughs> Yuki, Jesus, Jesus, what? Um, uh, hey, my name is Daniel, or Dan among friends, and I am from North Carolina. I probably sent uh, a lot uh, a lot in for you being my first time, but I had to make my first uh, turn matter because I need to set up, uh, uh, set up uh, for your following board. <laughs> I, sent, I sent you some uh, cards to sign in my failed attempt to tape uh, two uh, card protectors together, okay? I'll I'll make sure to get the, I'll make sure to actually tape them when it's in the back. And in the deck box are a bunch of uh, cards for you. And I wouldn't play them if I were you, if I wouldn't play them if I were you, uh, as they could get you banned from Nats if they catch you. And a bunch of paper play mats that I no longer need. But I have a few questions that I would like for you to answer for you to answer for me. Thank you so much for sending the stuff, dude. Thank you so so much. Uh, question number one: Do you think that I I could have two cosmic compasses? That is, if you have any lying around yes i do um somewhere uh <laughs> yeah, I, I do have them somewhere no clue where they are but uh yeah i can if, if i can find some yes yes if i can find some and, I, and, I, and I, if i remember i will send them to you promise uh, but i do have spare ones uh question number two if at all possible um if at all if at all possible i would like to know if i could trade cyber dragons before uh, if i could trade cyber dragons before you sign them i prefer the dark art but sadly only have one if not possible I would like to know if you if I could trade oh 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 um yeah 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 that's yeah that's fine um so he he prefers the dark art but I uh, sad sadly only have one um I, I think I have spare cyber dragons um all of my spare cyber dragons though um they they've all been sent in by fans like all of my spare cyber dragons have been sent in by fans um the only dark art cyber dragons that I can think of off the top of my head are the ones that I play in my deck I'm being serious um I might have I might have one I thought I sold them all when I was selling um, when I was uh, like months and months and months and months and months ago. I was selling um, you know like um, like uh, deck cores you know through my Facebook page and stuff. And um, I think I sold all my spare cyber dragons that I had. And uh, I think all the ones that I currently do have, once again, are sent to my fans. But um, if, if if I knew if I knew for a fact you know if I if I knew for a fact I had spare dark art cyber dragons, I would say absolutely. But I just I'm not sure. I'm being completely honest. I'm really not sure. So a uh, question number three what are your thoughts on ancient gears see ancient gears like i think i think they have a lot of potential i feel like that structure that could have been better i feel like they could have been better i mean obviously they could have been better but they're just kind of like a fun deck they're not really i mean they they, they can't otk and stuff like uh, i don't know they're just like i said they're just kind of a fun deck that's how i feel about them okay that's my thoughts they're fun <laughs> okay so question number four uh will, will we ever find out what the uh, the true effect of pot of greed is you draw two cards. <laughs> that's the effect. Anyways, so um, that's about it for questions um, that I have. But if I think of more, I will be sure to send uh, some more mail out. All right, sounds good. Signed, Dan. P.S. You can keep the deck box. 
thank you. Uh, PPS, I hope uh, I used enough stamps on the return envelope. You probably did. Uh, PPPS, uh, dick slap that like button or, you know, dildo slap it if you're a girl gamer. Don't hurt me. <laughs> but, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, let's see let's see what all you sent. So, uh, machine reactor, structure deck. I, I, ooh, you know what, guys? Um, this uh, this deck right here, I don't think I have this one. Yes, this Gear Gear Rampage structure deck, I do not have for the collection. That is awesome. Thank you. I do not have this one. That is awesome. Dude, it's got, oh my gosh, it's got Gear Gear and everything. That's amazing. Thank you so much. So two of those, three of those. Wow. Um, so that one I do have a machine reactor, a Dino, Dino Master's Fury. Um, this is the blue eyes one, I believe. Yes, that's the one. That's the blue eyes one. What is this one? Do I have this one? Um, uh, do I uh, Synchron Extreme? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I do have this one. The Synchron Extreme structure deck. Do you have that one? This one I don't think I have though, because this is the um, the Pendulum starter deck. Yeah, the Pendulum starter deck. I actually don't think I have the Pendulum starter deck one. Thank you so much, uh, Monarchs. Of course, of course, I have Monarchs. Um, but uh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, I just noticed this. This is another really old, really, really old starter deck map. Fusion deck zone. Amazing. Dude, thank you. I actually do like these a lot. Thank you so much for sending these. These are awesome. I'll add these right into the collection, dude. Thank you so, so much. But he sent all these to sign. So let's see what all he... Whoa, whoa. So they're all upside down. Dude, okay. So let's see what all he sent me to sign. Probably... Oh, Ancient Gears. Duh. So he sent an Ancient Gear deck to sign. Yeah, dude. I'll absolutely... Hey, Cyber Dragons, too. Uh, Karibo. <laughs> Karibo. And then uh, Dark Magician. Very cool. Let's see what else we have. Oh, hey, Cyber and Dragon. Hey, that's a super air Cyber and Dragon, too. That's pretty cool. And then we have, hey, Cyber Dragon. Yeah, so the one, um, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so so that's what he was talking about. Okay, that makes way more sense now. Okay, so, um, uh, so he sent me the dark one. Dude, if I have, I promise, if I can find two more dark ones, um, I'll, I'll, I'll just give them to you. And I'll, I'll let you keep these ones, too. Like, I have enough Cyber Dragons. I really do. I'll just send them all back, dude. If I can find some dark ones uh, to complete your set, that'd be really cool. Um, so, Junk, uh, junk Synchron, um, Quick Draw Synchron, and then hey, hey junk warrior that's pretty cool that's the first at junk warrior a uh, stardust dragon hey shadow specters that was a, actually a pretty good special edition in my opinion because it came out with a uh, stardust but um ancient gear golem very cool um and then we have what's this last one another ancient gear golem um oh no one more i, I said that that was the last one too early dark magician girl dank magician girl very very sweet yes i will absolutely sign all these and get them back uh send them back your way but let's see what's in the deck box so you said i would get banned i would get banned by using these cards let's see let's see what so whoa, whoa. so for you yugi yugi no no what what hold up what is all this okay so so if, if, if did you send me the whole like everything in the deck box to keep oh my gosh okay so whoa what what are, whoa yes yes dude yes yes oh my gosh dude Whoo! okay these are freaking Okay, I'm not, I'm not, guys, wow. Um, I, man, I almost wanna, I seriously right now wanna do like another video just showing these these fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards off, but maybe I could do both. Um, so this was really, really cool. This is what really got my attention a second ago while I was freaking out about this fake Exodius, the ultimate forbidden lord, fake Exes monster. And like, look, there's like, like new, like new fake cards, guys. Like, this is insane. Mrs. Radiant, like, I didn't know that there was a company out there still making fakes. This is actually really cool. This is this is news to me. This is both news to me and an awesome gift at the same time. This is fantastic. Oh my gosh. I need to, I need to do another I need to do like a video showing an update to my fake Yu-Gi-Oh card collection or something like that. This is freaking awesome. That is a really cool, really, really, really cool fake herald. Wow. These are these are awesome, dude. Thank you so much. This really, really expands my fake collection. Thank you so, so much. This is amazing, dude. Thank you. Like, seriously, thank you. I really appreciate it. This is amazing. And then, hey! Love him, awesome cocoons! Dude, let's put these in the binder. All right, so we have one cocoon, and then all these moths. So one moth, two moth, three moth, and four moth. 
for the binder. Man, eventually we're gonna fill this one up too. Oh my gosh, this is freaking hilarious. That's so funny to have like two Larvae Mod binders. Oh my gosh. Dude, thank you so much for sending all this. This is incredible. They really, it's really, really incredible. Um, I will absolutely sign all these and get them right back to you. Thank you so, so much again. And that is it for Fan Mail Monday this week, guys. Thank you all so much for sending. I am, I'm truly, I, I, I am truly just, just blown away every single week. You guys send me the coolest stuff. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at this awesome stuff. This is just, and then, and then this, this knitted, this knitted divider. This is, you guys seriously send me just the coolest, you know, handmade stuff. Like, thank you for taking the time to, you know, to package all this. You know, it, people, I mean, seriously, I, I, I do acknowledge, you know, how much time it takes to make this stuff and to just package it and send it and just going out of your way like that, guys. It's, it's, it's truly appreciated. It is very, very appreciated. Thank you so, so, so much. I am, I'm forever in your debt. And um, until next time, until next time, though, guys, be sure to dick slap that like button or I guess titty tap that like button and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>